What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe, and this episode is brought to you by DraftKings. Today, we have another very special guest, one of my good buddies, one of the best pitchers in baseball at this moment, Lucas G. Lito. Lucas, what's up, man? Thanks for the intro, Trev. It's the truth, bro. Got me feeling good. All right. It's the truth, and uh, I'm going to preface this by saying we've known each other for a long time. We, um, we used to work out together in the off season, and I mean, I've known it's been coming for a long time, but yes, 2019, you turn, you flip the switch. Mm-hmm. 2020, the, the switch is still on, and I guess let's start there. Um, you're young. You make it to the big leagues. Uh, 2018 was kind of like uh, the first full year. It yeah. doesn't go as planned. And then what adjustments do you make to come back and have the season like you did in 2019? Yeah, so 18 was my first full season in the big league. Before that, I had a tiny bit of time in 16, and I had like, I think, seven or eight starts in 2017. Seven starts. Seven starts. And in those seven starts, I actually pitched well, Mm -hmm. but I wasn't striking guys out. I was walking guys and like all of the numbers that I don't, I still don't really understand. (laughs) They were pointing towards like, Hey, this is not sustainable. Um, I didn't really pay attention to that. I didn't really know what was going on. I was just going to keep doing my thing. Uh, obviously I get my ass kicked in 18, uh, you know, numbers about as bad as they can get confidence just at an all time low. (laughs) Uh, I mean, I, 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 happy to be just honest about it. Like I, I, I had a lot of anxiety. Before. I love the real talk, man. <laughs> yeah. Real. I, there were some, there were some starts where like I'd walk the leadoff guy and it was over, like mentally done. And so obviously they gave me the opportunity to work through it and kind of get my ass kicked and learn from it, which I'm very appreciative of, uh, but kind of went off season with a, brand new mentality like i i kind of allowed this to happen uh you know i still have an opportunity i'm not going to squander that so i'm willing to do whatever's necessary to reach my potential and be able to become the pitcher that i know i am so we got to work uh i made a lot of physical changes uh shortened my arm action so i could be Mm -hmm. more on time I cleaned up my my lower half mechanics so that I'm more consistent, like driving down the mound as opposed to like falling down the mound. And then I really got to work on the mental side. Uh, you name it, I was trying it. Uh, I was doing it. Meditation, uh, f- focus training, brain training. I did a neurofeedback program which i'm still a huge fan of and i'm still i still get sessions in every year uh so for me the biggest thing was you know correcting some physical things but then just kind of teaching myself how to be more confident how to believe in myself every single time i take the ball and that for me was something that had to be learned and i had to learn it and so yeah that's what we did that's a huge step. Usually that comes with time. Your confidence comes with time. You know, you start to under, understand who you are as a ball player, you know, three, four years into your big league career. But you took it upon yourself to go and just get it done. And I think it's cool. It's a cool thing for people to hear someone like you say, look, man, I struggle with that. Like I wasn't having success and I had to change the way I thought about myself and how I approached the game. Mm-hmm. But let's get to the first one now. Um, this is a cool at bat against Nelson Cruz. Uh, before we get to it, you guys know the deal. Here is the ad read. Now is the time to celebrate. That's right. Football is here to kick off football's 101st season. DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top rated sportsbook app is giving all users a no brainer to start the season. If you haven't tried the DraftKings Sportsbook yet, head to the app store now because you do not want to miss this. Have you ever heard of a football team losing by 100 points? Well, for week one, DraftKings is ensuring that even if Kansas City were to lose in historic fashion, you would still cash your bet. That's right. DraftKings Sportsbook has moved the spread to Kansas City plus 
101 points for all users. So even if Kansas City loses by 100 points, you still win big with DraftKings Sportsbook. That's a no-brainer. Plus, DraftKings is giving away up to $100 million in prizes to all users who enter their free football survivor pool. All you have to do is sign up for DraftKings Sportsbook, enter their survivor pool, and you'll instantly get a share of up to $100 million in giveaways. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code JOMBOY to take advantage of this no-brainer of an offer. That's promo code JOMBOY to get in on all of the action for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey only. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. All right, welcome back, guys. We're here. Uh, we have the uh, bat queued up. Lucas, is there anything that you want to set up here before we start the, the video? Yeah, so Trev was asking me any particular bats you, you'd like to see on the show. And the first one that popped in my mind was this Nelson Cruz at bat to finish my complete game in August of last year against the Twins. Um, to that date, like, that was my most dominant performance ever as a starting pitcher. And so I just wanted to kind of relive this one. Let's it's, do it. Uh, Nelson Cruz is a very, very good hitter. So getting He's him out. Very talented. Good. Now, I was looking at another at bat. Uh, the Astros, we threw a complete game against them. But you said this is more dominant. Let's do this. I, I want to talk about this one. So without further ado, let's start it up. Yeah. And Long at bat. There we go. Uh, goes full count, I believe. So yeah, you're ninth inning, two outs. You're trying to... Finish the game off. First pitch here. Looks like he's setting up inside. And he was. Ball one. What are you thinking about after that? Uh, I was pretty confident. I mean, fours. Missed in again. Yeah, so a lot of adrenaline going. I was confident. Like, I remember being very like, I don't know. It's kind of weird, like relaxed, but at the same time, a lot of like emotion and excitement. Uh, mm -hmm. But I felt like in control, obviously went two Oh here. So now we have to be kind of careful. That's the combio, change right? Yeah. So okay. change up and then he hit it 700 feet foul. So I, I, I want to go back. <laughs> Cause he kind of was on that a little bit. Oh, for sure. But he was out in front. Oof. I always enjoy See, the thing is, I like when guys do that. Like, they barrel up a ball, hit it 130 miles an hour, but they yank it foul. Like, now, like, oh, God. You know, is now what? Throw another slow one? or Well, now, is, is it going to be, like, fastball up off of that? Uh -huh. So, now, I feel like I'm in a 2-1 count. He just smoked the ball off of me, but I feel like I'm, I'm in the advantage position. Even mm -hmm. though that's not probably true. That's how. I, that's why I like to oh, tell Oh, that is a nasty little pitch right there. Let me go back on that. Yeah. You are in the advantage, by the way, especially after that changeup. Slider? A little slider on the outside corner. Yeah. Cruz is like, damn, I was looking for a fastball or a changeup, not that one. Mm -hmm. And now you're sitting 2-2. Now, like you said, you're even more at an advantage. You can okay, go anywhere. Okay, so... <laughs> What do you want? What do you got? So you see Mac goes, he gives me this right here. <laughs> like, let's go. We're on pitch 112. We hadn't <laughs> we hadn't thrown a curveball all game. Oh my god. <laughs> we we had thrown zero curveballs up to this point. I'm so happy to have the opportunity to tell this story. Here it comes. Oh, so close. So oh, you didn't close. bring him up? No. Oh my. Oh, see, I'm like, at this point, I'm just, I'm like having so much fun. That's like the best when you're out there competing, but also having a lot of fun. I love that. That oh, was close. Man. We'll see so, here. It Ooh. was close. It was close. It was it close. Go either way. So, yeah, we, I'll let the at bat finish. <laughs> you want to talk? We, I mean, you said you, you want to tell the story. Go ahead, man. So basically, uh, it was one of those games where we kind of told, could tell early on that the curveball was going to be on the shelf just because the other pitches were working. Uh, they they loaded the lineup with lefties, I believe, that game. 
Uh, so it was mostly fastball change up to them. Uh, I didn't really have to use a slider too much to the lefties. I might have mixed in a couple, but definitely more slider usage against the righties in that lineup, especially Nelson. And mm. then uh, he had good at bats against me. I think he had like one or two hits um, that that game. He was definitely seeing me the best. So in McCann's mind, we go 2-2. Two, two. I'd thrown him a changeup that at bat. I'd thrown some heaters that at bat. I threw him a slider right mm-hmm. there that at bat. Uh, it was basically in McCann's mind, we're going to throw the curveball. It's going to trick the crap out of him and he's going to swing at it. I want it in the dirt. Um, and we were literally like so close. Like if I'd thrown, uh, if I'd thrown my only curveballs of the day to get the strikeout to end that game, it would have been legendary. That's why it you're was, laughing I, after that. You're like, dang, I was close. I know it was so close, but I love it. Uh, I don't know. Business three, two. Oh yeah. Three, two. Now you've shown them everything you got. Let's see, it started back up. McCann's thinking, what do we got? Fastball in. Setting up in. Whew. Damn, he's all over it, man. It's, yeah. You know, he's always like that. Whenever I see Nelson hitting, he's one of those guys that doesn't look bad too often. No, he stays so balanced in his swing, even on pitches he misses. Yes. I love this battle right here. This is some heavyweights. Three, two. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even remember that pitch. Spoiling wow. it, I mean. That kinda was a helped slider, you out. Right? Yeah, slider. Damn. That was probably ball four, but he's battling right there. Yeah. And now, now it looks like you guys are like in a chess match. You're like, okay, where yeah. am I going to go? What's James going to call? Uh-oh. Got the change up. On three and two to Cruz. Boom. He struck him out. <laughs> Big smile so and roll. Oh. And, and so the high change up, man. It, you, it's impossible to hit that pitch. <laughs> Off-speed pitches that start up like that are supposed to come down. Yeah, it just kept going. Like I, it's funny because like the at bat in my mind was uh, so much different than like watching it over here. I haven't watched <laughs> this game or this at bat over in a long time, and I don't remember that slider down and away before the changeup. I really thought that I threw like a high fastball, but he fouled off. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a pitch right before the changeup. Here it is again. But I guess not. That's pretty interesting. Dude, look at that swing he just took right there, dude. Yeah, I mean, if he made contact, it's going to go really, really far. Just lucky he didn't. And you're all smiles. We even have fans in the stands. What a concept. I that. I appreciate you coming on, talking about this AB. We're going to have you on for one more. We're going to talk the no-no, the 2020 no-no. Um, some excellent insight. Thanks, you, thanks for sharing it all. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, no problem. Hope everyone enjoyed it. We'll be back with the bat number two.